Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast, where we triple your impact per engineer. As always, I'm your host, Aviv Ben Yosef, advisor and coach to tech executives worldwide, and our subject today is the vacation test. There's something that I really like seeing when I'm working with my clients, and that is when they take time off, because it provides me with so much information. Unfortunately, with the last 18 months being all, you know, pandemic-like, not a lot of vacations have been happening, but I am seeing now in the summer an uptick, and that has made me think about it. And even more so, what made me think about it is that right now as you're listening to this, as this episode is going live, I should be on vacation, hopefully sitting by a pool, enjoying a cold drink, and not having to run around grabbing my kids. And one thing we learn about our organizations when we take vacations, when we take time off, is exactly where all of the little patches are. Where are our hacks that we put through to make day-to-day just a bit better, but it doesn't really scale. So if you've had a vacation or some time off recently, or you're planning it, or you're thinking about it, Let's think about it. What are the things that really stress you about not being present? What sort of fires do you expect to have to put out even though you are taking time off? What is preventing you from taking time off? Do you have people that you can rely on for the majority of things? Do you feel like you need to be making things work every single day? Will things go terribly awry merely because you're not there for a week? How hard do you need to prepare in order to not be there for a few days? I sometimes tell my clients that if they feel like they cannot take time off, that their organization needs them day in, day out, they're not really acting as executives because executives should spend the majority of their effort or at least half of their time, if you're in smaller companies, devoted to strategic matters, not just the day-to-day. And that means that taking some time off should be easier than it would be, for example, one of your engineering managers, because they are needed for the day-to-day management of a sprint, the day-to-day management of software releases, of one-on-ones with their people, of planning things, of having a bunch of interviews. And these are situations where it is harder to take time off. And of course, they likely have on-call. You, on the other hand, I'm hoping you're not making small, tiny decisions every single day. I'm hoping you don't have people just waiting all day long to talk to you. Because that often means that you are acting too much as a crutch. You are not providing them with enough guidelines, and default responses. You can Google my name and default responses. I've written a bunch about this as a concept for scaling your team and your managers around you. If you feel like you cannot take time off, if you feel like that even if you're not in the office, you'll have to have your phone, you're going to be slacking, not slacking off, but slacking as in answering people on Slack, every single day, then you are not creating an autonomous, resourceful organization around you. You are pampering them. You are coddling your team in a way that prevents them from growing up. You are creating a bunch of spoiled teenagers rather than real adults who can take on responsibility. And this is something that too many of us are accustomed to. We believe this is our role. Some people really enjoy it. Some people don't. And nevertheless, too many just believe this is the way things would work. So let me tell you, it is not how real good executives work. Great executives that I work with, you know, they have time. We don't struggle to find time on the calendar to talk. They have free time to think They are not constantly being pulled into all sorts of directions, being required to answer questions every single day. 
I have what I call the whole test or the open office test, whatever. And that is you just finished a meeting. You go from one meeting room and you cross the office to your office or to the next meeting room. And if as you do that, you get all of those heads turning to you, you get people reaching to you. You see hands go up, signaling, hey, hey, I need your time. I need something. If this is routinely what happens when you go from one meeting room to the next, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. You just failed the whole test. I want my clients to be able to cross the hole without having an anxiety of, oh my God, who is going to request something now? What ask am I going to get as I'm just trying to grab a coffee before my next meeting. And you need to create an organization that allows you to take time off because only with it will you be able to regularly take time off in your office to think. These vacations are just an easy way to find the cracks, to realize where you need to be working and coaching and changing and developing and evolving to create the right sort of organization. And, you know, I have like, 100 episodes about this. I have my book, The Tech Executive Operating System, about this. And of course, if you need help, if you don't think you can make time for vacation, reach out. My email is in the show notes and I'd love to hear. Bottom line is, take vacations, enjoy them, and move yourself to work at a strategic level. That's it for this week. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to my newsletter. It's the best newsletter online for tech executives. The link is in the show notes. And if you enjoy these episodes, I would really appreciate it if you took two minutes and gave the show a good review and five stars on iTunes. It really helps me out. Thank you. Talk to you soon.